Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode 20 of the Atletico Football Manager Series. Today we take on the likes of Liverpool, Barcelona. We've got a semi-final which will be the full game highlights played at the end. But before we get into this fantastic episode, leave a like on the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's get into this. So the first game we get into is actually against Nantes in the Champions League groups, I believe. And it is a comfortable win in the end. We win 4-0, which obviously I would say is expected against a team like Nantes. I mean, we should be beating them quite comfortably. And also quite an important game because we want to make sure we do get out of the groups. But to be fair, I mean, overall, this season so far, I am very happy with, with how we've been performing. As you can see, there are another goal happening there. Jao Felix now cuts it back into Lodi. Plays it back into Felix, into Saul, and it's a... It's actually Kieran Clark that, by the way, who scores their own goal. So, not not very good from him. An unusual signing. I didn't expect him to see or to see, even see him at this club. And then another another set piece from Felipe. An overall quite a comfortable game. But one thing I will say so far this season, I am very happy with how it's going. I am having a bit of an issue figuring out my front three, like who wants to play where, because they can all do it. Um, Felix has been quite poor. Not not poor. Towards the end of this episode, you'll kind of see I switched him out here and there. But um, it's quite hard because I've got so many options. But we've also got some players that are leaving. So I will discuss that towards the end of the video as well. But overall, let's talk about this game. So the stats, I mean, we absolutely battered them. They did actually get into the game quite well, though. You can see there, they actually kind of did deserve a goal. Um, we have more of the ball, double the XG pretty much. Um, more shots, more on target. And great match ratings out of Poke. 9.2 from him. Two centre-backs had a fantastic game. We're looking at this side here. Clark had an absolute howler. Um, no real, real outstanding players. But overall, quite a good game nonetheless. But let's move on to the next game and hopefully get a win there as well. So we then take on Barcelona in what was an absolutely action-packed game. It did result in a 2-2 draw. We did go down to 10 men as well, which wasn't ideal. But um, Barcelona, although they're having quite a poor season, they run me ragged. Pedri there with a beautiful goal. They're so good at getting in their pockets of space and it's so difficult to stop them. It really is. But um, to be fair to us, we always found a way to get back into the game. And when we did go down to 10 men, we did manage to seal out Dybala there with such a lovely cushion finish into the bottom left corner. But overall... A beautiful free kick here, by the way, by Pjanic. But one thing I will say about this team is we always do seem to find the answer. Um, we always seem to get the goal. Ademi there, great pressure. And he's such a tricky player to defend. He really is. As he goes down the line here, puts the ball in into Felix. And see him on that left side. It does work. Um, obviously, we did go down to 10 men. It was Lodi who actually got sent off here. Um, I think we might be able to watch it as well. If we click on it, we can. But... Um, to be honest, it it was a red card. He was on a booking. It was stupid. It was clumsy. Um, loose in possession. And I, I, I don't know why he done it. But overall, I, I would say a 2-2 result actually isn't too bad. When you get down to 10 men, you can't really expect to to win the game necessarily when you go, I think it's coming in here there you go it's, it's an unnecessary i don't know why he, you know death was going nowhere with it um obviously frustration got to him but against 10 men i'm sorry with 10 men barcelona 2-2 two, two, i'll take it all the, all the way to the bank um but overall disappointment just because of that because we could have pushed on to win the game but again, a very balanced game. We just about edged it in XG, but they had more shots on target. They had more possession. I'd say it was a fair result. Um, Felix with the outstanding performance there. Everyone else played pretty average. Dybala with a decent game. Barcelona, again, having an awful season, I think, still. Um, but they played really well. This formation here, quite a unique one. Obviously, no wide players. They're actually playing Fatty in that centre-forward role next to Memphis Depay. But fair play to them at the end of the day. But let's get into the next game, and hopefully we can pick up a win there. So we then take on Bayer Leverkusen, which ended 1-1, which was not a result I was looking for, considering we are trying to top the group um and obviously this is a champions league fixture we go one nil up here with a penalty from de paul um it was di that won the penalty he did actually pick up a knock this game as well but unfortunately we couldn't hold on to it and i was a bit surprised because against a team like this they are a decent side 
but I thought we'd be able to win. And it was quite poor there from the goalkeeper. It's happened a couple of times. Um, he comes for the ball and fails to do it. But overall, a game that we definitely should have won. I mean, we dominated the stats in pretty much every aspect, including possession as well. A lot of fouls. Um, Sesco did get a disallowed goal as well in the 93rd minute. But to be honest, it's just a disappointment because we've got Liverpool in the groups. So they're probably going to finish top, which means that we do have to beat them if we want that top position. But overall, no real outstanding performers this game. I mean, quite an average performance. Bayer Leverkusen, similar. Um, Sinistera there with quite a good match rating. Um, they've got a good team, but it's just the way that we've been playing, obviously, you know, I thought that we would be able to beat them quite comfortably. But we were away, I guess. But... No point crying about it. Let's get into the next fixture. So we then take on Legnes in or Legnes in a 3-2 win. So quite a close game, considering they are towards the bottom. Um, quite worrying, actually. It was similar to the Villarreal comeback. But a demi there into Hermoso and our fullbacks are popping up with goals this season. And it's really good to see because I do like my fullbacks to get involved in the play. I think it's the if you look at the top teams in Europe, um, a lot of top teams do have great attack and fullbacks. As Hermoso does get another there. Quite lucky how it fell to him. But overall, a good finish. And we did actually go 2 it up there inside of eight minutes, I believe. But they do find a way back into the game here with Jose Almirez. And Oblak, again, not having his best sort of spell of the season he is a great goalkeeper but a few errors leaking into his game which is not nice to see as Hermoso there plays a ball over the top into Dybala who has been so good for us and considering we got him on the free as well and he just slots it in that near post and what a player he's turned out to be I, I always backed him I really did but they do get another chance here and again it's a great flick on Hamill there just taking it out wide to cut it back in as he does and again that one was quite a hard one to stop but a great goal from them and it does end up finishing 3-2 but what I was going to say is these top teams in Europe I'm going to use Liverpool as the prime example um You've got Roberts and you've got Trent, the best attacking fullbacks in the world. Um, don't get me wrong, Man City have got great fullbacks. Cancelo, you could argue, if you had a, you know, if you were purely discussing attacking fullbacks, possibly you'd put him over Robertson. But for me, I would go Robertson and Trent. Trent, I mean, honestly, the, the attack and play that he creates is sublime. It really is. And um, that's what, I mean, obviously, I haven't got that in standard of fullbacks, but. I still have got fullbacks that can get involved. And as you can see here, Hermoso with a 9.1, Dybala with a 9.5, Felix not having the best game. But it was a game that we definitely deserved to win. 60% possession, 3.44 XG. And if we would have drew that game, I would have been very annoyed because they had no right to get the two goals they did. Um, especially the first one. The second one they did deserve. It was good play, but the first one, you know, it definitely preventable. But let's look at their match ratings. So... Quite an average performance. So many teams have rocking this 4 2 3 1. It is a great formation to dominate the ball, but obviously against us, they weren't very successful with that. But to be honest, it, it's a decent result. It would have been nice to be a little bit more comfortable, but a win's a win, and on to the next one. So, anyone that was listening earlier, I said that we'd have to beat Liverpool to actually get a chance to come on top of the group. And boy, did we do that. We were at home this time, and we actually ended winning this game. 4-0. A very shock result, because usually they're a lot more at the races. But this game, we were just, we were going out for it. Last there with a beautiful ball into Felix, and he tucks it past Allison. I believe that is in there. And honestly, whenever I play Liverpool, it usually ends up either being a draw or they end up edging it. But to be honest, I mean, we were playing beautiful stuff. Liverpool just didn't really turn up. Lodi there. Allison possibly could have done better. I feel like he could have been unsighted there. Um, was that Matip? Um, but a great finish from Lodi. Again, the fullbacks getting involved. Again there as well. Back into Lodi here. Back into Felix and into Vass. Misses it, but Saul gets the rebound. So a bit of a scrappy goal, but that put us 3-0 up. And when I was at this point, I had no, no fear at all. I knew we were going to secure the win. And what a win it was for the boys. Koke there. Beautiful ball. He actually looked offside but it wasn't given and Felix gets his goal in the 92nd minute and that is the end of a Liverpool destruction overall a fantastic rating from everyone Felix there finally you know really putting in a shift two goals there Was with a beautiful match rating as well Koke everyone having a decent game to be fair absolutely thumped them in terms of stats I mean they didn't really deserve a goal let's be honest they didn't create much at all 
And we'll look at their team. Obviously, they, they were playing pretty much full strength. That was actually Gomez, um, who there. They've got Kese Henderson, Fabino, Salamane, Firmino. None of them turned up. Um, so quite disappointing for them, I imagine. But they should still get through on second place. Or well, they're by Leverkusen. They're actually putting up quite a good fight. But a great result there. And on to the next one. So we then take on Sevilla. Away in a 3-1 win. But it's safe to say this game was a lot more tricky than what I thought. They actually do take the lead. Um, they were dominating as well in this first 20 minutes. A wonderful chip there. Um, completely sends Oblak back to the shops. But honestly, Sevilla really did turn up in this first half. But we switched it on in the second. Dybala with a penalty in the 52nd minute. A player that has been so good for us, I will keep saying. And he actually gets involved here again. Um, it looks like he's going to cut this one back. He does here. One of his signature moves and a demi. Just You see how he shifts into that pocket? And that's exactly what I want to do. He gets into the space, tucks it in the corner. And that's all I can, that's all I can ask from him. When he's doing that, it's really hard to fault him as a player. But overall, I mean, that was a poor error from them to pretty much gift us the guaranteed win. Sesco gets the goal. And overall, the stats tell a lie. Because I play these games. Um, i just show you the highlights from now. But... That, that tells a lie. Sevilla, Sevilla, Sevilla were absolutely dominant in the first half. How they didn't get two goals, I don't know. Um, but obviously, team talk at halftime changes everything. Um, we see it in real life all the time. How, you know, example, Manchester City winning the title. That team talk at halftime must have been insane because they come out three goals in like 10 minutes, whatever it was. So, I mean, overall... We'd done so well to come back into that and get three goals in the second half. And Dybala, the man that, you know, is doing it all. But as you can see here, you know, 2xG, 8 shots on target, 18 shots overall, dominated possession. Average match ratings across the board, which is kind of good to see. Severe again, not great. Not great there at all. Um from anyone apart from the goal scorer there. But quite a negative formation as well. Because, you know, you've got your five at the back, and then you've also got these here which potentially this guy here could drop back here. So quite negative in terms of their formation, but, you know, they are playing quite an attacking team. So at the end of the day, I can see why they, they set up for it. But we're now going to get into the big one. This is going to be like the like we used to do, like the full key highlights game, because we're taking on Villarreal in the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey, I believe. So it's the semi-finals of the Super Copa Copa de España. However, whatever you want to say. Um, it's against Villarreal, um, a team which we have had a very interesting history with, to put it in small terms. Basically, all of our games seem to be close. I actually think that game that we bottled in the first season was a 1-0, but we absolutely dominated. I'm just going to quickly change this up here. Um, that's actually all fine for key highlights. But... It's a team which we do struggle against. Like It's always quite a close game, but I'm hoping we can sort of come out and, you know, really put on a display here. Obviously, the point of this series is to win every single trophy. And I, I do think we did win this last year. But nonetheless, I, I still want to win trophies, even if I won them before. But um, I think we did win this one. Um, or was the Copa del Rey? I'm going to have to have a look because... The, basically, the whole point of this is to get Atletico winning everything. So we've won the league once. We've won one of the Spanish Cups. I'm, I forgot which one it is, so we will look after. And also to win the Champions League, which is the big one. Um, as Paolo Dybala there gets a bit of a scrappy goal, but we'll take it. Obviously, when I say all trophies, if we get the Champions League, that doesn't mean I'm then going to purposely get into Europa and try and win that. If we were, say like in the first season, we only got fifth or sixth, then obviously we would have got a chance to win Europa. But I want to try and win everything with the team. Same same as what I'm doing with Everton. Obviously Everton will take quite a lot longer because we're having to do a complete rebuild job on that team. But overall, that's, that's going well. So anyone that wants to you know watch another little series on the side, definitely check out the Everton playlist because it's been really good so far. It honestly has. It's been very fun to play. But I'm just going just gonna to encourage the guys here a little bit just to make sure that we stay sort of on track with exactly what we're trying to do. But overall, so far, it's been quite a good performance. Saul into Felix. Hermoso, Lorente. Go on, try and get... Oh, Felix. Um, I would like to say also Felix. I don't know if this actually affects form or anything like that. But die Barla, come off it, man. What a player. Uh, man City are in for Felix like mad. They're all over him, trying to secure him. De Bruyne apparently has spoke to him. So, I mean... 
I think it's going to be quite hard to keep him. I'm going to be honest. Um, especially if we don't sort of at least make a real good run in the Champions League and Man City do, he might be tempted with a move away. But I really want to keep him because he's been he's been really good for us. But it is hard to keep players on here. I'll say it and I'll say it again. It's not like FIFA where you can just hit decline. Um, sometimes the player wants to leave and there's nothing you can do about it. So hopefully it doesn't happen, but there is a chance it does. We're actually going to keep the same 11 on because they're not playing bad. None of them's really caused any issues and they're all still pretty much fit. So Villarreal have done nothing this game. I mean, it's been absolutely dominant from pretty much start to finish. So we can't complain at all. As you can see here, 2.61 XG, 11 shots on target, 23 shots in general, only seven off target. And we've dominated the ball. We are now going to make some subs just to rest some legs, get to pull on, um, get Sesco on for a demi, and also we'll get Carrasco on for Jao Felix. Once we've got the chance to as well, we're going to introduce a lot of time wasting. Obviously, a trait in Atletico's gameplay, um, a thing that they love to do in real life. And as much as it's annoying when you're the other team, I respect it. I'm a person which thinks. Do whatever you can to, you know, to win the game at the end of the day. It's, you know, it's about, it's a results business. If you've got to go down on the floor, go down on the floor. Um, it's not, not like a popular way of looking at it, but it is what it is. So there you go, guys. We actually finished 2-0. A great performance from Dybala again there. Um, Villarreal completely flat. Left back had a stinker. Um... And to be honest, they didn't really danger us at all. Created next to nothing. They didn't even really have a highlight. So we'll definitely take that. But there's a few things I want to break down towards the end of this episode. So I'll quickly go over the games that we've played. So obviously, um, there was a friendly in here which I didn't actually organise, um, which I did sim. I didn't show the highlights because the end of the day, it's a friendly mid-season. Um, so we finished off last episode with Bill Bowser. So it's this point onwards against Nance. So 4-0, 2-2, 1-1. 3-2, 4-0 against Liverpool. We'll ignore this here. Overall, a great episode. We haven't actually lost when it comes to the actual games. So, a very good episode, in my opinion, in terms of results. And next episode, obviously, we've got some more. We've got another... Um, another tournament there but i won't be playing the full match for that one or i will be playing it but i won't be showing it because it's only the third round and we also found out here we've got inter milan in the first knockout and inter milan on this on this game are actually really good they're good in real life but on this game they always seem to be able to sign people and the players that they do have just perform so well but one thing i wanted to show you was so the first thing was to see um the transfers yeah so going out so far we have a look um if we go to transfer history out so felipe has gone for 5.5 million um basically he was not getting enough game time he wasn't happy and at the end of the day he was i think if we click on him he was 33 so again a player which isn't really going to be in my plans going forward. We've got Rudiger. I'm going to bring in a, another sort of young centre-back. Um, or a young centre-back. Because all of our ones are quite experienced now. So I'm going to bring in a young centre-back. So he can be mentored and taught by the older lads in the team. A couple of people out on loan as well. And the last thing I want to get into. Is just have a quick recap. On what we've done in the first season. In terms of what we want. Okay so here we go. So the trophies that we've won so far is the Super Copper, so the one that we've actually got into the final of, we've actually won, and we won the, um, obviously, the league title. So, in my book, the trophies that we want to win, the big ones, would be, we've won the league, and we won the Super Copper, so we need to win the Copa del Rey, Copa del Rey, the Champions League, if we can, the Super Cup, it's not massive, but we may as well go for it, and, um, yeah, so we've still got some big trophies to try and win, and once I've finished that, guys, I would, um, two things can happen, basically. When If I win everything, I'll then mention in the video, do you want me to carry on? Do you want me to try and possibly drop down and try and win the Europa as well, for whatever reason? Or do you want me just to focus on having one let's play at a time, which I probably will do going forward? Um, but I kind of want you guys to comment what you want to see on the channel, because I, I've got loads of ideas, but... I also want, want to make sure that you guys are getting what you want as well. Like, you guys seem to be really liking these series. You love the tactics videos. And the rebuilds have been going down really well as well. But if there's anything you want to see, you know, maybe tips videos, um, top 10 players, stuff like this. You know, stuff like this which can help you guys. Please let me know. And any signings that you recommend, 
please let me know also because you know now we're sort of getting eight games an episode in there's only going to be what probably like a max of five six episodes a season so um please do let me know because I, I, I always read the comments i always do and i always respond as well but if you have enjoyed this video guys drop it a like it really does mean a lot and it really helps the channel be sure to drop a comment as well but definitely the most important thing guys be sure to subscribe we're absolutely smashing it i know we're very close to 1k right now and as soon as we do hit that the streams are going to be coming on don't you worry but yeah please do subscribe guys turn on notifications and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed it enough please do leave a like on the video and please do subscribe turn on notifications for plenty more uploads underneath my camera i've personally selected a video which i really think you'll like and also up next on the other side is a video that youtube think you might like from my channel so please do check them out guys also if you do want to keep in touch with me be sure to follow my socials i've got my instagram and my twitter above i love to interact with you guys but last but not least thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one